back on the streets and rallying to the call. They're walking in the tens of thousands to the Israeli parliament, the Knesset. This is a last ditch attempt to be heard before the vote. For those here, democracy is at stake. We are uh, around half of the people, or even more of them, are leaving their work, leaving their families and coming here to protest. And we will continue because we have no, no other place to go. We're here to fight our very dear and fragile democracy. Uh, and we're here to, to stay until we make sure Israel stays uh, democratic and liberal. By nightfall in Jerusalem, no sign of any let-up. They fear the legislation to extend political control over the judiciary is nothing more than a presidential power grab. Democracy is the watchword of the protest movement. But it's not long before the police move in and use water cannon to try to break up the crowd. The bill has caused bitter divisions and has seen pro-government support too. These were the scenes at the weekend in Tel Aviv. For the past 24 hours, politicians have been debating reforms to the bill. Meanwhile, its chief architect, the Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, has been in hospital for an operation to fit a pacemaker. He gave this statement from there. As you can see, I am in excellent health. We are pursuing efforts to complete the legislation as well as efforts to do this through consensus. But in any event, I want you to know that I'll be joining my colleagues in the Knesset for the vote. Today's vote is the first part of the radical judicial overhaul from the most far-right government in Israel's history. The anger on the streets has captured attention worldwide. In a calculated intervention from the US, President Biden has urged Netanyahu to pause, not to rush the decision, saying the proposal is becoming more divisive, not less.